This short training video demonstrates how to disable the automatic printing of reports with Chrome Perfect. This is important to many users who do not require a hard copy report, or they review their chromatograms and make adjustments before printing a final report. There is a common misconception that deselecting the auto proc tick box within the run program will switch off printing of reports. Although this is partially true, it also prevents Chrome Perfect from performing other important processing tasks such as producing bound files, calibration updates, PDF reports, and automatically sending data to LIMS. Additionally, when Autoproc is reactivated, it will go back and process all the data since it was disabled. This could result in the printing of hundreds of reports. For these reasons, suppressing report printing by turning off Autoproc is not recommended. Instead, if you wish to permanently or temporarily disable printing of reports, this is best handled by making changes to the method file. Within the Files menu, open your method and go to the Report tab. There are two sections. The first deals with the production of fixed format reporting, and the second is responsible for custom or formatted reports. To disable the printing of a fixed format report at the end of every run, deselect the chromatogram plot and the report text checkboxes. To disable formatted reports, just delete any .fmt report template files which are listed in the dialog box. First, select the file name and then click the delete button. Next, save your method. When you save your method, you might consider saving as a different name. For example, mymethodnoreports.met. Chrome Perfect will no longer automatically produce reports at the end of every run when this method is used to acquire data. This means you have two identical methods which can be used when printing is and is not required. Of course, you can produce these reports manually either within the Analyze program or using batch reprocessing. If you use batch to print your reports, you will need to select the method which allows printing as we discussed previously. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more chromatography training content. You might also want to follow Chrome Perfect on Facebook and Twitter. There will be links in the description below.